absolutely over the moon to finally be able to say she's here yes if you've watched all my vlogs during pregnancy you'll know that um i went overdue and she kept me waiting the full two weeks but uh 14 days after my due date our beautiful baby girl was born she arrived on saturday on the 30th of january at 3 39 in the afternoon um, and if you've been watching my vlogs I've spoken about uh, really wanting to avoid induction and uh, brilliantly I managed well I don't know my body did it I think it was the six sweeps that I had uh, but I went into natural labor at about 2 a.m. on the morning I was due to be induced so um, I didn't have to be induced in the end they did have to break my waters but um, no other induction apart from that and um, I'll do another vlog though all about the birth story but this one is more just to introduce you to our new little lady so she's in my arms at the moment she's sleeping so I don't really want to disturb her too much but here she is I can turn her around you can maybe see her there here she is sleeping our little baby girl Yep, so she weighed in at eight pounds and one ounce, so she's a very healthy weight and her wee feet and her wee socks. She um, weighed exactly the same as her sister, Sophia, was also eight one when she was born. So um, yeah, uh, nice healthy size. In fact, when she came out, we all thought she was a bit smaller because she's quite dinky, but she's obviously quite a heavy, <laughs> she's got heavy bones. Um, but she's perfectly healthy and um, she is an absolute doot as you can see she's really good she's um, quite a good sleeper she sleeps better though during the day um, at night time she isn't so good so we're gonna have to try and work that one out because I'm a bit shattered at the moment because night times I'm like she will only sleep on me and if I try and move her into the Moses basket she has none of it but she'll sleep in the Moses basket during the day but just not um at night time weirdly so uh we'll deal with that one so at the moment i'm trying to sort of sleep with her like holding her and sitting upright <laughs> which is not much fun um but yeah she's a really good baby and really good feeder so um i'm breastfeeding and that's actually been going really well i really struggled with sophia but it's gone a lot easier this time and uh, my milk came in yesterday and I forgot which was day three and I forgot just how like sore it is when your milk comes in and also how huge your boobs go <laughs> they're literally like these big giant solid melons it's like I'd had some sort of massive boob job and um, they've they've settled down a little bit today though um, because she's such a feeder which has actually helped them so that's been quite good um but yeah she's uh, she's certainly eats well which is a good sign and then poos well so all is all is working in that department um but she's yeah a wee dream we're over the moon and Sophia's been really good with her too actually she was a bit funny when she first came to the hospital on Saturday evening um just after I'd given birth but obviously it was a weird environment and being at the hospital and seeing her mommy sort of at the hospital and this new baby must have been all very overwhelming but she's been brilliant since and really helping with nappy getting nappies and wipes and she just loves cuddling and kissing her so which we all do she's just so cute so um yeah as I said the, the birth ended up being um sort of better than than expected which is good although uh painful but I'm gonna do a separate vlog all about the birth um so I'll go into more detail but this one was really just to say she's here and um welcome to the world and oh I, I don't know if I've I don't think I've mentioned her name um yeah we have named her Sienna Alexandra Hampshire um Hampshire is obviously our surname uh, Sienna we chose because we just loved the name and we thought it went really well with Sophia and it was one of the first names that we loved way when we found out we were having a girl and it's kind of stayed really um and then Alexandra the middle name and it's spelled A-L-E-K-S-A-N-D-R-A um, so Alexandra which is the Polish spelling and the reason for that is because that Andrew's middle name is Alexander spelt with a K and an S and that's after his Polish grandfather who was called Alexander so um, that's where the name came from and we just thought Alexander was a lovely name too uh, so yes she is Sienna 
Alexandra but yeah um, I will do another vlog as I said talking about the birth and things and I'll, I'm sure there'll be many more of, of showing her as she grows up but this is her vlog debut and she's been brilliant hasn't made noise um she's so good so yeah this is our little girl finally here so welcome to the world baby Sienna